Hey, it's Camo with the National Access Show presented by Solus North Gulch Apartments where taste matters. Today, uh, we've got a special guest on that we're just going to insult each other uh, the whole time. I just told her to shut up and she just called me a jerk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Leah Turner. Hello. <laughs> Perfect intro. Yeah, I know, right? Perfect, yes. What do you need from me? Well, the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, it's not my mom. These women, all they do is talk. <laughs> yeah, getting you on caffeine. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, That's yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You brought along a, a very talented guitar player, Benji Harris. Yes. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you too. Um, Tell us what you've been doing lately. Gosh, what haven't I been doing? Um, well, I just released a single um, by the name, by the title, by the name of, by the title of Blah Blah Blah, and um, it's really just talking about how it can be in a relationship or it can be in life. Um, this particular situation for me was in a relationship, and all I was hearing was nothing but words. And, um, you know, really great intent, but really bad follow through. And um, so I finally just took my love, my heart, and then just put it on paper. Cool. And um, that's what you guys will hear today. And it's sassy and it's not angry. It's just kind of like saying that this is what you said. You know there's a t-shirt already. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of because stuff Rush, everywhere. I'm a big fan of Rush. Oh, okay. And... They, on uh, their tours, Getty Lee, the, the bass player, was wearing a t-shirt said blah, Stop. blah, blah, so you can get her out there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, I just did a thing where um, the you know fans and people that listen to the music um, start sending in videos of them telling their blah, blah, blah story or singing along to the song, and then I'm going to send over um, some blah, blah, blah goodies, so I'm going to have to be on the hunt for their shirts and just be like, here you go, they're already made, perfect. <laughs> So you yeah. Just order a bunch of them and put your name on the back. Exactly, exactly. So just been doing that, and then um, I was just telling Benji that uh, on the second I'm recording a blah in Spanglish um, because I, this is going to be a shocker to everyone, but I am half Mexican. Really? Yeah. So um, we Are you just here illegally. <laughs> we have to ask our guests. That. I am half of me. Half of me is here legally. Yes. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to record that in Spanglish. And, uh, you know, just. No, for those of us, or for those of those people that I think. don't know what Spanglish is, yeah. what is Spanglish? Well, so it will be like half English and half Spanish. So it's not being able to commit to either. Right, I have commitment issues. <laughs> I have commitment issues. I don't know if I want to be um, white or Mexican. I'm just like, let's just do it all. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's what it'll be. So, I think what we're doing is first verse in Spanish, uh, second verse in English, and then the chorus in all Spanish. So, um, but it's just showing another layer of who I am and, um, you know, really just kind of being able to hit another demographic. Uh, yeah. Thankful to my mom. There, there are so many artists that are able to do that in country music. I mean, George Strait, a few albums ago, did a song El Rey. Right. In, in, entirely in Spanish. Right. Um, and you're starting to see a little bit more of a resurgence of Latino country music artists. Right. They're working with Freddie Fender, Johnny Rodriguez, and did some great ones over the years. Right, yeah. Um, I was, I think I was the first, um, besides Linda Rodstad, but she kind of was, you know, um, all over. I was the first um, Mexican-American, I mean, to have, to have a top 40 um, single um, on the country charts and on Billboard. So, but it was in English. <laughs> it was, I hadn't embraced my Mexicana side yet. No, just kidding. But, but yeah. Uh, Sorry. We have we're very popular with this show in South America, and and it's amazing the attraction they have for country music yeah. down there. We've got a lot of viewers in, in Argentina, Buenos Aires, that are watching this show. So Hola, you, you como estás? Say, yeah, see, say, <laughs> yeah, see, they don't say Buenos Dias. Right. They say Buen Dia. Okay. Well, that's where the different dialects yeah. come in. Um, you know, there's. Puerto Rican, they have a different, yeah. even like Portuguese, and it all kind of oh, is, it's the same thing you know, you exactly. Go, you go from Nashville to Mississippi, right. and you're going to hear you know. different slang, you know, so, um, and even different parts of in Mexico, you know what I mean? You have different dialects yeah. and different slangs there. So um, I just went with the uh, Spanish that I know. <laughs> 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 and it's all cuss 
words just came out. Yeah, I mean, for me, it would be being able to ask where the restroom is and yeah. have another beer. Exactly. Right. That's all you need to know. That's exactly right. First, you have the beer, yes. then you go to the bathroom. There you yeah. go. Repeat. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Rather rinse, repeat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, do you think being part Latina brings a different perspective to your music? Um, you know, I think, I don't know if it brings a different perspective to my music, um, but it definitely brings, um, I got my, my voice and the, 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 you know, I don't even know what the word is, but Passione. the bass, the, yeah, passione, yeah, exactly, <laughs> passione, in, from my grandmother, and she was, you know, as the singer, and the creative side comes from my Latina side, yes. and, um, so there's that there, um, and it also just gives me a different edge, it sets me apart, um, from, you know, just being, uh, another blonde hair, blue eyed girl that loves country music and can ride horses, you know? Blonde hair, blue, blonde hair, blue eyes can get you pretty far. Yeah, you know? well, I'm sitting here. <laughs> and so am I. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. exactly. So the new single is called Blah Blah Blah. Uh -huh. And uh, did did you write that one? I did. I write did? all my songs. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I write all my songs, and then I also write for other artists as well. I have a, a song on an artist. Um, it's on the highway right now. It's called Drinking Terms. And uh, an artist by the name of Cody Purvis did that and has like, I don't know, like crazy stringy numbers. Right. So I wrote that song and then I had the opportunity to write um, with Jeremy Renner. Um, he is uh, the actor Hawkeye in the Avengers and Hurt Locker and all of that. And he just got a massive Jeep campaign. Um, so I wrote his whole record with him. Um, and that comes out, I don't know, August something. But, um, so I've, I've had been able to do both, write my own stuff and be an artist, and then also um, been able to write for some other artists as well. You're sitting next to a pretty damn good one. This guy is one of the best singers. Yeah. Really. Thanks. Thanks. You are. Right. 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 Take, yeah. take a, a, your EP that you put out, was it last yeah, year? Yeah, uh, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Killer. Thank yeah, you. He's, yeah, I worked really hard on that. But I, it's, it's still, all, it's so much fun to, to back up other artists as well, just because as a singer, I love singing harmonies, so. And I've been friends with Brandon. for you for nine years. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. He was my first friend when yeah. I was coming back, and him and his wife were my first friends coming back and forth from California to Nashville, and then moved here about five or six years ago. But we've been, yeah, friends yeah. for yeah. We've seen many, many nights at the bottom of a bottle. <laughs> That's right. You know what good female artists are all about because you played with a lot of. Them. I have, yeah. I've been very fortunate. I was with Cassidy Pope for two years. Uh, did a year with Janet Kramer. Um, I filled in with Lindsay L here and there, so um, I feel like I'm Mickey Guyton, your, oh, yeah. your roommate. My roommate. <laughs> you just named all of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, you have, you know what you're doing when it comes to working with the Totally. Yeah. Totally. I, I have the best job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. He blends. I think it's because his uh, voice is so blendable, and he knows how to. He has such a range um, and a great ear. So it's just literally like, it's just he just. Does it? And he brings, because um, he can get above a lot of us, which is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm like, we'll see oh, how it this goes. is pretty early. <laughs> you want to do a song? Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk some more? What are we doing? Lipstick. Oh, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> We're all enjoying French vanilla lots. Yeah, I know. They're really good. You know, that's all it has a machine. <laughs> I know. I'm like, there goes my cooler. Can you take it? <laughs> Shall we? Yes. <laughs>
show with Kim. Oh, I had to think where I was today. Uh, I think that's Leah Turner. That's me. And uh, Benji Harris on the guitar uh, and, and backup vocals. Yes. And then Kita. Yes. Uh, What's up? What else? What so, else do you want to know? What, what do you got? <laughs> um, so you spent, you split your time between California and Europe. Yeah, well, I mean, I primarily live here, but um, my family's in California. And so I try and get out there to see them as much as possible. And then also, I write out there a lot in LA. So, um, I was going to say that, that song had a real kind of South, Southern California vibe. Yeah, yeah, well, good. Yeah. It's coming through. There's a lot of artists from California, it seems, these days yeah. that are, are breaking through. Yeah. Not just Southern California, but Northern California yeah. too. And it's great to see that California thing come back again because there were so many, uh, you know, at the height of the Bakersfield. Yeah, Stadium. Merle, um, oh, Buck yeah. Owens, yeah. Gary Allen, uh, Dwight Yoakam. Who else? I mean, uh, those are great. <laughs> then, then it just kind of people forgot about that. Right. I, I, I wouldn't say the music scene died off there. Because yeah. It certainly did. No. But. People just kind of forgot about California for for a musical standpoint. Well, I think now sometimes it's just like a huge. Resource. Yeah, I think sometimes people um, think California is just LA, yeah. and it's not. You know, I was raised by my father is a championship cowboy in the rodeo, yeah. and we're from California. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it gets a little bit more. Um, I'm from Southern California in like Palm Springs, Palm Desert area, yeah. in the mountains above there, um, but it gets a little bit more like. I would say cowboy when you go up into Northern California, yeah. like Bakersfield, like San Luis Obispo, John, John Party, John Party yeah. Cam. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think it's more of that cowboy Western um, vibe that uh, is what California brings. Um, there's two different types of country. You yeah. know, there's Southern country and then there's the West Coast yeah. country. And um, that's what I am being raised by a cowboy and um, basically born in the South. Nice. Yeah. That would be awkward. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, no, it's great. And that, those names are great company to be mentioned in. Absolutely. When you're talking about California. Absolutely. Country. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Do you see yourself as kind of. There are so many different things you could be representative of. Another strong female voice in country music, mm -hmm. a Latina voice in country mm -hmm. music. Uh, California voice mm -hmm. and country music. What of those fits you best? Gosh, all of them. I mean, I feel that, um, you know, you've been given a gift and um, you've been given a voice. So uh, to be able to touch people um, with the platform that I've been giving and given and still working on, um, to be able to become the soundtrack to people's lives and kind of help them work through their emotions, you know, yeah. um, is what I've what I love doing, you know, especially since I you know write everything um, and being Latin, um, I think that that just shows another layer to who I am, um, and it really. When you think about it, there's a lot of cowboys, you know, that are Mexicano and they're called girls. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so um, they're now going to be listening to someone that doesn't necessarily maybe look like them, but is knows what it is to be like them and have the same blood. So it's kind of like a Miranda that speaks Spanish. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, so that is, you know, who I am. I, they always say I got Tabasco running through my veins, and now they're figuring out why. Um, and uh, what was it? Oh, in California. I mean, I was born and raised. That is, that is my town. That is my, 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 you know, my state. Um, and there's nothing, there's nothing like it. So I think those three things there are just really who I am. I, I don't know if one is more than the other. What do you like better, being on stage or writing? Or in oh. the studio? I hate being in the studio. I really do. I don't know why. I don't know. I think because I put so much pressure on myself to be perfect. You know what I mean? And then I just like, no, I'll do it again. Oh, let me get it again. You know what I mean? And then I get frustrated. Um, so I, I, it's my least favorite, but I do know that not everybody's able to make it into the studio. So I'm grateful for that. Um, playing live is, is my favorite. Um, because not only do you get to see the fruits of your labor coming to life, you know, with people. It's immediate. It's, it's, it's immediate feedback. It's a high.
by, um, and you really get to meet the people that give you a career, um, that buy your records, and come out to, to see you, you know what I mean? So you're actually connecting with a bunch of people, um, which is what you want to do in this business. Yeah. Have they started singing your songs back to you? Yeah, well, I was on the road with um, Brad Paisley, and I did a couple dates with um, Kenny Chesney and uh, Jay Gowen and, uh, gosh, Roscoe okay. Flats. Okay, and who's the coolest to be out on the road with, with the, out of all those guys? Well, you know... We'll, we'll say they're all great. They're yeah. all great. <laughs> I would spent the longest with Brad. I was yeah. on the road with him for almost eight months. Um, so... I really got to know him and his crew, and they are just wonderful, um, and really just take care of you. Uh, I was with Randy Hauser, DJ Silver, and Charlie Warsham, so that was just an amazing tour. Um, with Jake, it was him, me, and Frankie Ballard, and I mean, you just can't. They're just awesome, and Jake and I had the same management at the time, and then the same trainer at the time. So then you have that personal, you know, yeah. bond with them. I didn't really spend a lot of time with the Rascal Flats because I was only with them for two weekends. Um, but really, just to take a chance on a female in a climate um, where it's a little bit difficult, more difficult for us, and then really leading out there and taking a well, chance. It's more difficult getting the radio air. Yeah. But I think there are more female artists than there ever been, and they're just not on your radio. Right. Well, that's a problem. It is a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's well, how you smart. get on tours. Yeah, but you know, when you have so many other outlets, you right. You know, building your playlist on Spotify mm -hmm. and all the other streaming <clears throat> services, that's where people are discovering your music mm -hmm. these days. So yeah. you have probably a better chance of getting into people's heads through those those media. Mm, I don't, I, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna... I mean, it's hard for... I'm gonna to, say no. For, for independent artists, male or female, yeah. being an independent artist trying to get on radio. Right. Unless you've got a ton of money behind you, mm -hmm. it's hard. Yeah. Period. Period. I think it's it's doable, and you know, Sony gave me such a platform um, that I've made such amazing contacts with radio and with John Mark at Spotify and with JR um, at Sirius XM. That um, I'm, I'm grateful. You know what I mean? But I do think that we're still trying to figure out the streaming payment, oh, yeah, um, yeah, and so yes. therefore, like. Payment music. <laughs> right. Yeah. So therefore, it's you know it's great as an artist to be discovered on there because on, on streaming because it does really you know catapult you and anybody can find right. you as to your point. But as a songwriter, it's like yeah, great. You yeah, know what I mean? Don't get anything. Yeah. Don't get anything. Uh, yeah, that that's a big problem that, because somebody's making money. Yeah. But it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, a lot of streaming yeah. services are and the labels. Are. labels and, yeah, exactly. The labels own. Yeah. And I do think that like a lot of people don't like understand how much sacrifice and how much um, ups and downs and locking yourself in a room, being like, I don't want to do this anymore because it's so hard. And I think that if people out there that you know don't know the music business kind of saw that just because we're on CMT we don't have a million dollars in our bank yeah. account you know what I mean just because you're on the road with these big people you don't have a lot of, you know a million dollars in your bank you're, account you're expected to look and behave yeah like you do exactly but the yeah. reality and I think if people you know were educated on that there would be more value put on music because they could see the struggle and the fight that we yeah. go through for this dream you know what I mean oh, it's like and, Vince Gill said you know you can go buy a sound effect of a fart noise yeah. for 99 cents right. which is the same price as it costs to get a song from an independent artist yeah and how insulting is that? Yeah, you know? it is. You I know? never thought of it like that. Me it's either. So like, yeah, sorry. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's, But I mean, what a yeah. great way to put it. What a great point. way to put it. Yeah. I just think if people knew more about how hard, you know, we fight for this dream and the things that you go through and, um, you know, and that there, it would put a little bit more value on the music, that we're the last to get paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Literally, and any time that, um, a music video is shot, or a photo shoot happens, or a stylist, or this. Well, that. They, the artist, yeah. yeah, we we have to pay all that back before we see a dime. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, if, if I think if people are educated, because they don't know, you know, I don't know what happens to run a plumbing business. You know, yeah. I'm like, right? 
we were, you know, when, when I was a kid and we're buying records, I mean, we, that's just not something that the music consumer thinks of. Mm -hmm. right. and, and, and should they? Yeah. Not really, but yeah. now because it's I, so accessible. I buy accessible. a car, I just want to be able to drive it. Right. I don't care who built it. Right. right. Yeah. I want it to work for me. Yeah, but you can't buy a car for 99 cents. No. <laughs> or free. Well, wait, or you can't stream well, a car for $10. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And it probably won't get you anywhere very, very Definitely. long or ever. You know, just that if, if, if people knew that it, it's a business and it's hard, I think that there think, there would be more value put to it. Therefore, people would go, oh, I think because this is how they live. The, the disparity between the big names that are constantly getting the hits on the charts. Yeah. And the independent artists, I think that has grown so vastly right. that people are being educated because most of the music out there yeah. that isn't on the charts is indies. Right. And so people are learning that a little right. bit more and more. And the struggles that women have had trying to get airplay on yeah. radio stations. Yeah. I think those things combined yeah. are are making people kind of go, oh. oh yeah and listen i don't want to be chosen because i'm a woman no, i want does. to be chosen because my song is the best right. you know what i mean i just would like the same opportunities to be able to be told yes or no yeah yeah speaking of opportunities yeah. uh you want to do another song yeah do i do what's on the same yeah. segue then. i know <laughs> yeah speaking of impressive. uh this song is called wax on the table and um it's a little sexy i don't think i can remember the lyric you can do sexy yeah, um, it's basically saying we're gonna, you know, do the deed until there's nothing left but wax on the table. <laughs> what deed? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I've never done it before. <laughs> Leah Turner. I'm a Christian. <laughs>
cool. So uh, it, it's funny. Anytime somebody mentions the word wax, all I ever think of is the Karate Kid. <laughs> wax on. Wax, wax on. on. Wax on. Wax on. <clears throat> yeah. With all the different labels going on in country music today, do you care? Do you just want to make the best music you can and where it falls, it falls? Um, yeah, I mean, you definitely care. <clears throat> I don't care. Um, that's a loaded question. Um, I, I already was on a major label, right. and um, they were very good to me, and it was a regime change. And that um, always happens. Yeah, I was only signed for eight months and had a, you know, did a lot of stuff, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but uh, I care because you have to have the machine to get to the next level or back. You know, I mean, more like, you know, people are labeling things pop country, traditional country, r and Oh, I don't care. That ain't country. I'm blonde hair, blue eyed cowgirl that's half Mexican. You think yeah. I care? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Because that will set you apart, yeah. and that is what makes you who you are. If you look at even like Prince or Freddie Mercury or George Strait or, you know, even Luke Bryan or Florida Georgia Line or whatever, they did something out of the norm, and then people followed, and that's how legends are born. So if you do things out of the norm and don't follow suit, if you're allowed to, that's how you, you know, create your own lane. I'm going to be in my own lane, obviously on the same highway, but in my own lane, and I think there's the capability of doing that. Now, having been a signed artist mm -hmm. and, and now an independent artist, which is better? Um, I mean, there's there, that's another kind of question. I mean, there's pros and cons to both. Um, there's a lot of freedom in being independent. Um, you know, and I'm able to really be able to call the shots uh, with my management team um, and be like, no, this is what I want the video to look like and this is what I want my look to look like and this is what, you know, it doesn't have to go through a channel of yeah. all of these people. Um, and then the con to that is that, um, you know, it's harder to get your music out there and it's harder to get at it because you have the major machines you know, telling yeah, you, play this, do that, do this, do that. The label fronts the money, so you can do it and then you pay them back, but when you're an independent artist, you have to pay it up. Yeah, front. well, I've been yeah. blessed with an amazing manager yeah. who has had some, you know, success, um, yeah, some, some great money. success. He manages Justin Moore, um, which you get his new record, it's out, and it's amazing. Um, uh, Justin Moore, Dustin Lynch, Tyler Rich, um, and he had Justin and Dustin, Lord Almighty, the names, Justin and Dustin and Tyler, but Justin and Dustin since day one. Wow. Um, and so they've had some really great careers. Um, and then Tyler Rich since day one, and he's, you know, on his way up and climbing. So he knows what it is to take an artist from nothing to something. Um, and so he knows that it takes money and it takes, you know, things like that and pushing and not taking no for an answer. Um, so I've been blessed with that, you know, that type of a team and my agent, um, I'm with William Morris, and so they're an incredible agency that have stuck by me. Um, so is it hard? Yes, but surround yourself with a really great team and um, that sees the vision, and, and you'll go. Cool. One we'll final question for you. Yes. You're a big star today, mm -hmm. okay? I know. You're, ah. <laughs> you're about to embark, you're putting together your big stadium tour. Uh -huh. You're the headlining act. Mm -hmm. Who do you have opening for? Gosh, I mean, today, like right now. Yeah. Well, I would have to say I'm having to bring my girlfriends with me. And this would be hard because all of us would be like, no, you go, no, you go, no, you go. Um, I would bring, let's see, I would have Tara Thompson. She's this little sassy firecracker, like, oh my God. Um, Tara, and she's so opposite of me, uh, music-wise. I would have Mickey Guyton um, with me. And... Obviously, John's way bigger than, you know, because he's having so much success, but I would love to bring some of that California country in and have John party. Because I just, I mean, I love John. He's a team roper. My daddy's a team roper. Um, I love his girlfriend, Summer. And um, I think that would be like a nice little, like, array of different people. But you're going to take a good guitar with her. Oh, yeah, he's not. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm out. That's my last game. Bye. See you later. Bye. Yeah, Lisa, thank you for being thank here. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Yeah. Good to see you again. Uh, check out.
Of Is course, we'll, we'll plug her, but if you get a minute, I'm go, a on, go on music and check out Benji Harris's stuff. Yes. Yeah, it'll blow you away. Yeah. Uh, your new single is blah, blah, blah. Yep. And people can download it, stream it. Anywhere. Download it, stream it, Vivo it, YouTube it, CMT. It's on CMT <laughs> now. Um, it's in the 12 pack, so uh, count, 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 count. Vote, 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 and get it up there so it's a heat seeker. Um, yeah, and be on the lookout for the Spanish version. Nice. And uh, dates you got coming up? Right now, we're just focusing. I mean, I have a few dates here and there, um, but because I had already been in all these markets and had already been on some you know, major tours and things, um, we decided to really focus on the music, get it going so it makes sense when you're walking back in those markets and don't burn them out. Get her music going. Leah Turner, find her everywhere. I Socials, mean, website. Leah Turner, music, on all of it. Cool. Twitter. Instagram, all over Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Come back again. Good to see you. Are we doing blah, blah, blah? Yeah. I have to. Yeah. That's my single. I have to. Then let's do blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that and then we'll say goodbye. I'm like, I have to. Okay, good. Yeah. You can do it you said, I can't believe that I believed it, oh no, your promises, they mean nothing, now I see it, I see it, all I'm hearing is your blah, 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 you run your mouth and say, blah, 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 you say there's nothing you won't hear from me, but I can listen, I'm like, blah, blah, blah,